The track bar is responsible for laterally locating the axle and solid axle coil spring suspensions. In simpler terms for my general audience, this stick keeps this stick from moving sideways. Death wobble is something every Jeeper will experience at some point in their career. It's a very elusive problem, but if you don't fix it, you die. That, that, that's why it's called death wobble, because people die. Now it can be set off by almost as many things as my ex's back talk, but this video will focus on the axle side track bar mount specifically for the Dana 30, which applies to XJs, MJs, TJs, ZJs, and WJs. If you have death wobble, usually the first place to start is the track bar. People often just replace it, but when the whole front suspension is adamantly trying to destroy itself, this bolt ends up wallowing out this hole. When the bolt can no longer sit in here firmly, you get side-to-side -side movement, which translates to death that wobble. Cause death wobble for sure. A surprisingly recent post on an ancient forum reveals a pretty easy solution to this problem. Simply replace the bolt with a thicker one and drill the hole to match it. Apparently the stock bolt isn't reusable. I don't know how true that statement is, but I do know that I broke my original bolt when I first replaced this, and at the time, used a spare bolt from this John Deere, meaning I've reached the point in life where my car is being held together by lawnmower parts. First order of business is removing this bolt. If you want, you can take the whole track bar out to make drilling this less of a neck strain. Using a 7 16 heavy metal rated drill bit, drill out the bushing sleeve. If it's not already looser than... I'm not gonna say that on YouTube. Drill out the axle side as well. Test fit the bolt, and if you want, you can go ahead and reinstall the track bar. Now, getting a wrench on the nut is gonna be a challenge because it's tucked way up in here. We have multiple options. You can cut an opening on the side to slide a wrench through here. You can get one of those weird ass socket wrench thingies. You can weld a tab to the nut like the original setup, or you can be a cheap ass mother and shove an Allen bit in there to hold it still. Now the forum post suggests torquing this to 90 foot pounds, so that's honestly really tight and I wouldn't go that far unless this is really loose in here. The factory spec is 74 foot pounds, so as long as you got a locking washer in there, that'll do just fine. After doing this, the steering is tighter than it ever has been. I've miraculously never had death wobble in my XJ, but doing the same thing in my MJ fixed the problem. If it doesn't, I'd try replacing the control arm bushings. I'll see you in the next one.